is section 2.6, example 2. We're dealing with uh, inequalities, absolute value inequalities with the word or, um, and we'll show you how to do that. So we have our inequality here, our absolute value. We're going to rewrite this into two of them. It says it's greater than the C. And if you look at your core concept, when it's greater than C, we're using the word or. And we're going to rewrite this. X plus 1. So I'm going to make sure I look at my... When it's greater than C, you're going to do less than a positive 3 or x plus 1 is going to be greater than a negative 3. Okay. Now we're going to go ahead and solve this stuff here. I'm going to subtract 1 on both sides. So I get x is less than 2, or x is greater than negative 4. I can graph this. Negative 4, negative 3, negative 2, negative 1, 0, 1, 2. So x is less than 2, and x is greater than negative 4. I hope I did that right. x is... Oh. <laughs> Oops. Equal to... Okay, and for some reason I think I got it backwards because it's going to be coming this way and we don't want that. It shouldn't be that way. Our signs might be wrong. If it's greater than the 3, then it's less than the negative number. Oh, yeah, see, even I make mistakes. That's why looking at our notes is very, very important. Greater than or equal to, less than or equal to, less than or equal to, greater than or equal to. It's always good to look at your notes, go back and look at the core concepts. I even made that mistake in the core concepts. Now, and I knew I made my mistake because I knew my graph was going to look wrong. It was going to all come together, which is the and equations, but these are the or. So we have. There, it says it's equal to the negative fours and the two, and it's greater than two and less than four. So they got the arrows going the opposite directions. Now, part B, you see that negative five and you're like, oh, no solution, wrong. This is an inequality, and it says that it's greater than or equal to a negative five. You can do that. When it says that it's greater than the negative number, yes, you can do that. And in that case, when you do, uh, it's going to be all reals, all real numbers, okay? So, because no matter what you put in, it's, it's going to be greater than negative five. So those are kind of like an easy one. That's kind of like a given. It's uh, all reals, all real numbers, and your, your uh, graph it's basically just it's it's an arrow and it's just forever the whole thing is an arrow part C ah we got some work that we need to do here uh, so before I make my two um, make my two inequalities I'm going to do some math first And then I'm going to divide by 3. Now I can set up my two inequalities. I hope you can see that on here. And I'm going to write those in blue coming up here. So it says that it's greater than the C, greater than our number. So we're going to have less than the negative. So we're going to do 
2t minus 3 is less than negative 7, or 2t minus 3 is greater than the 7. And now we'll just go ahead and do our math by adding 3, add 3. So we get 2t less than negative 4, or 2t greater than 10. And now there's just one more thing to do. T less than negative 2, or T greater than 5. You would graph that. Negative 2, negative 1, 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. T is less than a 2, so open circle, arrow to the left, open circle on the 5, arrow to the right because it's greater than. Okay, I hope that wasn't too rushed. You can always pause, rewind, blah, 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 blah.